Hi guys, my name is Bhumika and in this tutorial, I'll tell you how to install MongoDB. But before that, you should first know what MongoDB is and how it is different from relational database. So I'll just give you a brief on that. So what a relational database is, it structures data into tables and rows. But MongoDB, it structures data into collection of JSON documents. If you don't know what JSON is, then for now, just keep in mind that a JSON document has a set of fields which acts as key value pairs. So you can say that all related information is stored together for faster query access through MongoDB query language. So in MongoDB, if you want to create some data, you don't need to define the structure. For example, if you want to create anything, so what you can do, you can directly create it. The structure is not compulsory here, such as like, you know, the fields or the type of their values. So in MongoDB, you can represent hierarchical relationships to store more complex data structure like arrays. So you can say MongoDB is faster as all the things you need is kept at one place. It is together. So I guess this much is enough for you. So let us proceed with the installation process. Go to the site MongoDB, scroll down and if you are using Windows, select Windows option and select the appropriate option from the drop down according to your system. Then click on download MSI. As I've already downloaded it, I'm not doing it again. So, okay, we'll install it. It won't take much time. Accept the license, agreement, next, complete, and install. Okay, so installation is done now. Once it is installed, just go in program files and check if it is really installed or you know so program files okay a folder is created here as mongodb so okay it has been installed so here you can see two files mongo.exe and mongod.exe so what you need to know is if you want to execute your commands or anything else the first thing you should do is you should run mongod and once it is running then only you can execute your commands using mongo so the first thing we need to do is we need to run mongod for this we'll open command prompt and we'll go to this location to run mongod so okay we'll go to program files then we'll go to MongoDB, then we'll go to server, we're going to in, now we'll run MongoDB. Uh, okay, it is giving some error because um, what it is telling you is that you will, after running this, you will execute some commands, right? And you would want to store your data. So where will you store it? You need some location, okay? So it is telling you to make a directory so that you can store your data over there and it is even giving you the path also see then data and then here the folder named as db so what we'll do we'll make a directory so data db okay so it's done here we'll go to see and we'll check if it is created okay yeah here it is created so what we can do now we can now run mongod mongod okay so the ones you see here is like on port and the port number you can say that okay it has it is running now so the first step is done mongod is running now now you would like to you know execute your commands so what you need to do is you need to run mongo so for that you need to open another command prompt so open another command prompt sorry Here you need to run Mongo. Okay, so now you can see a small arrow over here. It means you are ready to execute your commands. So suppose if I write db here, so see here it is giving me default database name. And meanwhile, in the other window, you can check. See, it is telling you that connection now open. That means it is working fine. It is running fine. And okay, guys. So one more thing I would like to tell you tell you is. Suppose if you don't, uh, if uh, for running MongoD, if you don't want to go to that location till then again and again, so what you can do is you can 
you know set the path in environment variables so for that you need to go to uh, program files and then go to mongodb server 3.2 bin so this path you need to set to environment variables and to do that we will go here okay we will go to properties and my main variables uh, okay i have already set the path you can see here c program files mongodb server 3.2 bin and suppose if you have not added so you can click on new and you can give the variable name as path and you can give the value of this one so and then you can click on okay so once you do this what what you can do is what the benefit will be suppose you have set the path okay so you can directly go to command prompt so to run mongodb you don't need to go till bin of mongodb you can directly run from here mongodb see it's running and then again if you want to write your commands go here open new window type mongo see here it has come db so this is how you can install mongodb and you can execute your commands so that that's it for the installation tutorial guys see you in the next tutorial bye